here I am at Cradle Mountain National Park in Tasmania. Um, we've driven two hours from Launceston. <laughs> um, we've parked up, got a shuttle bus. They go every five to 10 minutes at this time of year and it's January. Um, and uh, it was raining this morning and now it is absolutely stunning sunshine. So this is Dove Lake. Um, our plan is to do the Dove Lake Circuit, which is a two to three hour walk all the way around this lake. And back there is gorgeous Cradle Mountain. So we're looking forward to a really good day. I've got my sister with me, who's here. Say hello, Al. Hello viewers at home. <laughs> so, all's looking good for a good day. What I'm already loving about this walk is it's boardwalks all the way or tracks very easily defined which means that we're all staying on the same route and um, it's not, not encouraging anybody to veer off um, into the bush I guess um, or anywhere that we shouldn't be and we've been told to keep an eye out for wildlife of all sorts they've got wombats and echidnas we actually saw an echidna on the side of the road yesterday um, but also some snakes that are venomous like to bask in the sunshine keeping your eyes peeled for those um, but yeah hopefully when we go back um, we're going to also do a stop off at a wombat walk so fingers crossed um, we're told if we go later on in the afternoon which I think it will be by the time we finish this walk and um, we'll be able to see some wombats too enjoying it Al Oh, loving it, so beautiful. <laughs> it's really, really gorgeous. And kind of the terrain keeps changing too. So at the moment we're into the, in the trees. One of the other top tips we were given about doing the Dove Lake circuit um, is that uh, when you get to the visitor centre, so the shuttle bus drops you off there, um, go left. So what that means is there's a place we have to sign in um, and then go left out of there. It feels counterintuitive because everyone else seems to be going right. But um, what they say is, we've heard it twice now, once from the guy at the, um, selling the passes at the thing is to go left I think it's a what they prefer but also B we heard that the views are better which at the moment I concur with because it means we have Cradle Mountain in our sights pretty much for the whole way up the lake and then I guess it's going to be behind us when we're coming back um, but yeah certainly wouldn't argue with that
once you get to the visitor center at the start or at the entrance oh to Cradle Mountain National Park sorry about that it's a low branch um then you need to go and buy a pass so it all depends on whether you have an annual national parks pass um we don't so it costs 27 dollars per adult to get a pass for the day and that means on the shuttle bus you can get on and off as often as you like look at that view um yeah go and see as much spend a whole day in the um in the park the last bus from Dove Lake goes at seven o'clock. So as long as you're on that bus to get out of the park, then you'll be fine. Um, and that includes the shuttle bus for $27. So I think that's most of the information you know, but um, parking is free. So $27 for a day out in beautiful nature. at the far end of the lake we've got the mountain behind us there and if you look around there I think we're gonna start heading away from the mountain again now <sighs> stunning side of the lake we've got cradle mountain behind us in a little bit of shade and I can say that it's actually a really fairly easy walk to do um, it's more I think the distance there was plenty of steps up and down along the way but certainly nothing challenging and I don't foresee anything changing with that anytime soon so beautiful um, as long as you're okay with a few steps here and there accessible and um, like I say there's a boardwalk the entire length <sighs> and look at that it's owl disappearing past the crevice I think I may have spoken just a little bit too soon. Sorry. This is quite tight too. There's definitely more steps on this side. So I wouldn't say it's inaccessible, but what you could do is just walk along that side of the lake, turn around and go back the other way if you're worried about steps. Some of them are quite narrow and obviously what goes up must come back down again. Um, but I still wouldn't say it is a strenuous walk, although it is marked on the maps here as moderate. So bear that in mind. So is a visit to Tasmania on your bucket list? Um, if you're interested in loads of travel ideas that you might want to put on it, then check out the links below. Um, and I give you all the details on um, how you can get your hands on 201 
um, inspirational travel bucket list ideas. So click on that and you'll also have access to my weekly newsletter which gives you loads of travel tips, inspiration, deals, offers, stories, all sorts of things um, which land in your inbox on a weekly basis. Who knows around what's around the corner? That ballroom forest. So we've just been sat having a bite to eat by the lake with the most stunning view of Cradle Mountain in front of us, now behind me. Um, and a woman's just shared a fact that she learned on the bus where they said that for 250 days of the year, um, the top of the mountain is in cloud. And for another 50, it's snowing and the conditions are so treacherous you can't come in. So, A, we feel incredibly lucky and B, don't let the fact that we're doing the whole thing in t-shirts and shorts fool you into thinking you don't need to heed the warnings about changes of temperature, they show you where to bring waterproof gear and cold weather gear and anything because apparently around here the conditions can be incredibly changeable incredibly quickly so personally we are feeling incredibly incredibly lucky um, but also I think heed the warnings that um, you may not be quite as lucky as we are And once again, owl climbing and proving me completely wrong about he how easy and accessible this track is. Wow. Look at that view down into the lake. That's amazing. But I definitely 100% <laughs> take it back about the ease and the accessibility. Um, maybe going around the lake in the opposite direction might be easier um, because it seems to be a lot of steps going up. Um, I guess you'll be going down, but if you do have issues or a stroller or anything, then I would definitely recommend going left to the end of the lake and back. Look, the feeling Al might suddenly have finally have reached the top. Have you? Excellent. <coughs> but I'm guessing. Whoa. Amazing views. So one of my final comments on the Dove Lake walk, Dove Lake circuit, um, is as I've said, we were told to walk clockwise or go to the left. And I totally see why now. Uh, be prepared that on the other side, the opposite side to that, you have lots of stairs up and down. But basically the view of the mountain is that way. If you go clockwise, you're always walking towards the view of the mountain um, as opposed to going the other way where you'll always be have it behind you and the thing is along walking along this side so going anti-clockwise um, you can't see it oh I just got a glimpse of it there <laughs> but um, there's way less opportunities to view the mountain and certainly to be walking towards it so whichever way you go, one way you'll be have it behind you, one way you'll have it in front of you. Um, so surely 
the best way is the one where you have it in front of you and you can actually see it. You're welcome. hope you're enjoying a little tour of the Dove Lake circuit on Cradle Mountain and um, look forward to seeing you next time on Sue Where Why What. Thanks for joining me. So we're just coming up to the hut now. It says we're coming to the end of the circuit. Um, that's been amazing. We've not exactly been speed walking um, but we've not we stopped a bit for a bite to eat and it's taken us about two hours so they do say um, two to three hours on all the bumps and what a beautiful walk it's been but like I say don't expect it to be a fair weather walk when you do it and um, I feel incredibly lucky if those facts that I shared earlier about how much it spends in clouds are actually correct I feel very lucky to have been able to see it like this So I've completely run out of battery on my GoPro where I've been filming everything else. But we've just done a quick stop at Ronnie Creek, um, which is one of the stops on the shuttle bus. And saw a wombat, I don't know if you could see it with my um, very bad photography at all, but we're just gonna try along the other side, but we've been given top tips that this is the place to see them. And particularly after around three, we were told, and it's about half past two at the moment, so it might be a little bit early. Let's go see if we can see any more. Evil, oh, evil. 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 evil looking snake but we're now in search of more wombats and basically when you're looking for wombats look for furry rocks <laughs> that then start moving and um, that's pretty much what we've just seen cute furry moving rocks <laughs> 